What's up you guys? I'm Kiki Said So, looking crazy, back in my orange hoodie because we are knocking this stuff out today. So this video is going to be a catch up while I do different things around the house or wherever that I need to get done. I don't know how long it's gonna take, but I've got a 2023 wrap up where I wrote a bunch of notes and I hope I don't forget anything. I tried to put as much as I could in here and maybe we'll insert some bits and pieces to help tell the story about what has been going on and how I fell off from YouTube again. Anyway, welcome back to my channel and let's catch up. you guys so I think that I left you guys sometime in like the middle of last summer um, a wrap and you got it way later but I was doing the um I'm a mother vlogs with my cousin Walker let me turn the camera with my cousin Walker so that was the beginning of May and I got those vlogs up way 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 later but that's how it goes sometimes, right? So anyway, I got those up and then the next thing that was supposed to happen was the tea party vlog from when I went to Louisiana to celebrate my grandmother's 79th birthday. So I've got a vlog for that one that's in the works. Well, it should be done now. Um, but I've got a vlog for that one. I hope that you watch it. Whitley, say hello. Whitley. Her name is Whitley Beyonce Gilbert. She was born on September 4th, 2023. She's been with me for almost a month now. I am just obsessed. I feel like that like sound that was going viral on uh, Instagram, I think, where Rihanna's like, I'm in love, I'm obsessed, or whatever she says. That's how I feel about Whitley. I love her. All right, so we're gonna go in chronological order and hopefully I don't forget anything that happened. So we'll start off with, um, I wrote June on here, but actually since we ended with Walker and me being a mother for a few days, that was, um, that was fun. Walker is a really good kid. We have a very special bond. After that experience, shortly thereafter we had two more live shows to close out um, the Dirty Little Secret Store. So we did a show in Birmingham, Alabama, which was absolutely one of my favorite shows. The crowd was just excellent energy. I had so much fun. The opener was good, but she got out there and she got nervous and she ended a little quickly and I was like, oh no, no. And then, um, then we went to Dallas to end the tour um in dallas now i'm gonna be honest while i think that all of our shows were great dallas was probably my least favorite and i feel like enough time has passed i can just be honest um i love the venue i loved everything about the venue i thought it was excellent just the show itself i felt like it was a little too safe a little too pg um it was cool to see like my high school cheerleading coach <laughs> And um, another coach who was like, she was a cheerleading coach, but she was just never my coach. She did JV, um, I think in the freshman when I was on varsity. Um, but you know, we do things with everybody and it's like, they do like a big sister, little sister program. And then Ms. Morvec, who was a Spanish teacher, an English teacher, and a cheerleading coach. Um, my mom came and she helped out like behind the scenes, which I always love that about my mom. My mom is very supportive of the stuff that I do. And I really also like that with my mom being supportive of me, she will come and she has no problem like getting her hands dirty. I did have to fire her at one of the shows because I think she was just so excited to like tell friends and family, like look at what Kira's doing. You know, just being a proud mom, right? Uh, different friends and family came, of course. We took pictures. Um, I liked my look. Uh, I do. I did look fat in all my pictures, so that sucks. 
but I did like my look. My sisters were there. Um, my brother came and helped at the merch table. He brought a friend to help him. It was just, it was a good time. The show was good. It just wasn't my favorite. And with it being like the last show of the tour, I just wish it could have went a bit of a different way, but it did it and it's not the end of the world. And it's like, okay, well, we tried some things since we've tried things in other places and they worked and we kept it going. And then we've tried things in different places and they didn't work and we didn't do it again. Okay, so after that, I went to Houston. A friend of mine um, was having a party, like going away party and graduation party. So I went out there for that. That was fun. And then I went, uh, eventually I went back home to Atlanta and I was supposed to be working on YouTube and a lot of my other projects because we weren't touring in the summer. Getting ready for the fall tour because we knew we had it coming up, but just like doing more stuff for me. I did work on like personal me a little bit, but I think that the depression, the anxiety, really kicked in in the summer and I just did not do a lot of what I wanted to do. But it's okay, I made it through and I'm still here, right? It's not over till it's over. So then, um, I, so that was May. So now let's move on to June. So June, we did a tea party theme birthday for my grandma's birthday. She was turning 80 years old, I mean not 80, 79, cause she's six months younger than my grandfather. She's turning 79 and we did a tea party. So we ended up having it at the church, which I didn't really want to have it at the church because it was at the church, it's a dry party and I wanted there to be like a little bubbly, you know, but it's not the end of the world. Family came out, we had everybody dress up in high tea attire, but we wanted it to be like, uh, not present day clothes, like more like 40s, 50s, that sort of thing, you know? But it didn't have to be, but tea party attire, high tea attire. So people came out, they dressed up. Um, my grandmother loved it, it brought her to tears. I tried to make a watermelon cake, which is like, it's watermelon, you cut it and you stack it in tears and it looks like a cake, but it's really all like fresh fruit. That did not come out good, but she loved it. Anyway, that's a grandmother for you. She's gonna love her grandbaby's creation. And I am the first grandbaby, the original, the queen of the grandchildren. I'm not even the first girl. I'm the first girl, the first everything. Okay, I pretty much started this whole family. Um, but we did, uh, we did the tea party at the church. It was funny because when we got there, this is in the vlog. The church was locked and I basically had a break in the church. I hope God is not mad at me. He knows that my grandfather gave me the keys. My grandmother, somebody gave us the keys. We were supposed to be there. Anyway, that was a really fun. Um, and just seeing how happy she was. And it's always like such a struggle because there's so many different personalities, so many different people in our family who are opinionated. And so sometimes it's like so many ideas and waiting for somebody to pull the trigger and a combination of different obstacles that get in the way of us actually like making, pulling through with some of these plans. So me and my sister, and I guess we'll include my mama. She did come up with the tea party thing. Um, we pulled it off. And it was funny because when it was all said and done, we found out that my mom basically manipulated the situation. And my grandmother did not ask for a tea party or any of that. My mama saw it on one of her shows. I want to say Love and Marriage Huntsville. And she thought it was cool. So she tells my grandma about it and we did it. My grandma would have been fine with the crawfish boil. And y'all knew I absolutely love crawfish. So I was just like, dang girl, we went through all this, spent all this money and did all this stuff. And we could have had a, Robert's wall at the house, but whatever. The the face that the face that my grandmother made, the happiness on her face, the tears of joy, the laughter. I think she even felt like some of the church ladies was a little jelly that her party was so cute and they wanted something like that, you know, for themselves. And I think that made her feel good <laughs> in a weird way. So it all worked out in the end, and I'm just so happy that she was happy because that's what. That's what it was really all about. You know, I could be upset or I think I shared 
some frustrations in the video, but it all worked out and we had a good time. In July, July through August, like the summer, we, me and some of my friends, Lex P, if y'all listen to Poor Bonds, her, and then um, a friend, Tiffany, we started, I don't remember when we started, but we, we both like trying different restaurants and stuff. So we started having a little girls night and we would do girls night and we would try different restaurants and just get together, catch up, have fun, and just make it like a weekly girls night date. And we kind of fell off um, because Poor Mind started touring again first and then just life and traveling and then Tiffany was working here, but she's a travel nurse, so she'll be out of town sometimes, and so we can't get together as much. So we've been doing it, but it's been more sporadic as of late, but that was something that was fun that I could really look forward to. I encourage you guys to try it out with your friends. Like, have a girls' night, do something with just the ladies, and don't make it like a double date situation or it doesn't need to be a situation where you're going on the town to try and meet guys. Cause I know that that happens a lot. And sometimes it's like, I just want my girl time. I just want to hang out without the pressure being about that. Because it's also like, okay, you're going out to meet men. What if you meet a man and don't nobody else meet a man? Nobody's having fun. Like, can we go out and you can talk about men while you're out, but does everything have to revolve around being with a man? Sometimes, um, I've hung out with people and it was that and I just was just like, oh my god, this is exhausting. I don't, I don't want to show up anymore. And matter of fact, I won't show up anymore because this is exhausting. Um, so it wasn't that. It was just like going out, having a good time, trying different things, having different experiences. We had a really good time. Okay, so let's fast forward to September. So September was my birthday. Uh, Beyonce's birthday, I went to a Beyonce concert, and then the Last Call tour kicked off. So, Beyonce's birthday, I mean, I didn't go to the show, but it was fun watching it. I was just watching the Renaissance tour. That's another thing I spent my summer doing. So we went to the show, and then Lex and Tiffany were sitting together, so they all came over to my homegirl Raven's house. And we like pre-gamed over there and had fun. The show was amazing, like, I was online like, do I wanna go back tomorrow? Because I think I went to the show that was on Saturday and then she ended up having a Sunday show. And then Dre was there too, but Dre went to the Sunday show with some of her other friends from Houston. So we didn't go at the same time, but we hung out that weekend. Did I see, well, did I see Dre that weekend? I think I did. I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. And then other friends that were in town, we just had a good time. Um, it was funny because after the show, we could not get a lift. It was so hard to try and get a lift. So Soraya's mom was actually working the show. And so she ended up, I don't know if Soraya called her or her mom called Soraya, but she was like, well, I'm leaving. She was like, can you please take us home? But she just needed her to drop us off at a friend's house who lived downtown that wasn't very far because Soraya lives far. So I was like, okay, well I'll ride with y'all and then I can probably get a lift easy from her house to go back to where I'm staying. So we did that and um, it was funny hearing what she had to say about the show. It was just a good time. I love Miss Kim, she's so funny. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I said it was Beyonce's birthday and then I immediately go to Renaissance tour. Let's back up because I went on a trip um, to Curacao for my birthday. So September, I think it was September 7th through the 11th. My birthday is the 13th. But from September 7th to the 11th, I went on a vacation for my birthday, which I never really do. So that was nice. Um, my friend Jay took me. He wanted to take me somewhere I hadn't been before. So that was nice. And Curacao was something that he saw or heard about or something. And just coincidentally, it had been a place that had been on my list. The people there were just amazing. We got to try different experiences. We went on this thing called an aquafari tour where you go underwater and it's like a scuba diving experience without having to do scuba diving training. So they put this like helmet on and you go underwater on a scooter and you get to go to the bottom of the ocean, but like not in a super deep area. We couldn't go more than 30 feet, but we got to go around and um, see the different 
ocean life that was down there and then you also see like where people are just like throwing stuff into the ocean which makes you almost makes you want to go down there and clean up but then it's like no i'm on vacation overall the curacao experience was great it was one of the best birthdays that i've had in a really long time um i've never I've never really done like a big birthday trip. I go on other people's trips, but for me, I don't usually do it because that's the one day when I don't really want to plan a lot. I would like to turn my brain off and just like to chill and relax and not worry about it. I don't know if I want to go with a guy. I don't know if I'm going to go with my girlfriends. I don't know if I'm going to go by myself. I don't want to leave people out. I don't want people feeling slighted. I don't want to have to think about other people's budgets. So many different thoughts go through my mind when it comes to things like that. For me, sometimes it's easier just not to do it. So I think maybe this will be a two-parter. Maybe I'll take you guys in the kitchen with me while I cook. Y'all drop some locations of where y'all are thinking about going for your birthdays. You don't have to tell me the exact birthday, but the month and where you're trying to go or where you're going, where you're trying to go, or just somewhere that you think I should check out. I'm into everything. And it doesn't have to be a beach location. It doesn't have to be an island. It could be anywhere in the world. I want to travel more and see more things, experience more things, and just live a little bit more. And that's what I'm working on. So I'm going to end it here. And then I'll do another vlog and catch you up on the third quarter of 2023. And... Live show weekend kicking off. We'll start with the last call tour kickoff and then go through the rest of the year. Thank you guys for watching my vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, we're gonna do some catching up some more so I can bring you guys up to speed and then we'll start doing things. Also, if there are experiences in Atlanta, the DFW area, St. Lucia, because I will be in St. Lucia in February, February 15th through the 20th, I'll be in St. Lucia. Um, and then I'm thinking about doing a girl's trip to Arizona and having it be like a relaxing, healing type of vibe in March. So if you guys can think of any good resorts in Arizona or experiences in Arizona or anything that's like along that vibe that's in the US, um, drop a comment, let me know, or send it to me wherever. If you have suggestions for trips whether it's for a birthday or whatever drop them tell me good places to eat drop them around the world in america it doesn't matter i want the suggestions and i want us to start talking more in the comments um i just want to open up and share more i think that that's something that i miss and i enjoy and it's nice when we can go back and forth and i love making friends on the internet <laughs> as weird as that may be for some people and even if we never meet in real life, I think it's cool that you guys are supporting me by watching my videos and interacting. It does not go unnoticed. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. And please check out my podcast, Cocktail Share Discussions. Please follow me on Instagram. And I plan to start posting very soon, if I haven't already, on Whitley's TikTok. It is whitleys.world. And yes, I named her after Whitley Gilbert from a different world. And Beyonce is her middle name because she's born on the Queen's B-Day like that. Big Virgo energy. Anyway, talk to all you guys. Subscribe, like, leave a comment. I missed you. Bye.